Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of our survival series. My name is Joe Buffalo and joining me today is Leo. How are you today, bud? Good. Good. What do you want to do today? I want to play in a beacon. You want to play with a beacon? Yeah. Oh, that's a great idea. Are you ready to get started? Yeah. All right, let's go! All right, Leo, looks like you have the beacon from the last episode. Why don't you go ahead and place it down on the ground here? Nice. So let's go inside the beacon and see what we have. Once you go inside, the menu pops up for the beacon. On the left side, you see the primary power. And on the right side, you see the secondary power. Now, what do these powers mean? You can get all these powers from potions, except for this one right here, which is called haste. Haste can only be gotten through a beacon. And you have to build the beacon up in order to activate the beacon underneath certain types of block. And those resource blocks are down below here, as you can see from netherite, emerald, diamonds, gold, or iron. And you have to get a certain amount of those blocks in order to activate these primary powers or secondary powers and then once you get enough of the block and you activate the beacon you can come inside the beacon and use one ingot to get it started so let's show you an example of how this works all right leo take the diamonds i gave you and go ahead and build a three by three square one two three four five six seven eight nine awesome job now go ahead, I'm gonna give you the beacon. All right, Leo, go ahead and put that in the middle. Three, two, one, go. And there it goes. You can see the beacon's been activated. And it does, it goes all the way up to the top of the world, to the top of the building area. And what it does is it, from this point, 20 block radius around here. It's like a picture, a big circle around here, 20 blocks. Whatever power we choose and we put it in our ingot, it's going to give us that extra boost of power by just standing here doing nothing. If we go into it now, we can take our one iron ingot, we can place it here, and our primary power, because we built this, is unleashed. You can see these are still dark, un unavailable to choose, but we can either go with speed or we can go with haste. What we're going to try first is we're going to show you what speed's like. So we'll go ahead and select speed. And that activates, and you can hear it activating now. And you can see with the bubbles around my head that we've now activated the beacon. And we can run much faster than we ran in, in the past. And it goes for a 20 block radius. Once you're at 10 seconds, it'll count down to 7. And once it gets to 7, it'll go back to 10. However, if we were to come outside of this radius of 20 blocks, you can see that it's going all the way down. And it's going to actually disappear because I'm too far away from the beacon. And now I lose my speed because my speed doesn't happen here. But when I get closer to it again, when I get in that 20 block range, it comes back on. All right, so now that's speed. So what is haste? Well, let's show you what haste is. So back inside of our menu, we're actually going to pick haste this time. We're going to go ahead and put our ingot inside here. And we choose it. And now it's changed. You can see that the speed is running out and the haste is gonna take over. So speed runs out of the 10 seconds, haste takes over, and now we can dig and mine much faster. So if we were to come over here to this corner, and I have an efficiency four shovel, and haste is on, wow, see how fast that goes? Oh. How cool is that, right? Oh. Neat. Now we can do that with our mining pickaxes as well, See how fast that you could take these out, right? Really fast. So what we're going to do later is we're going to take this down into our mines and we're going to go look for some diamonds really fast at the end of the show. The idea of the beacon is to use it for the haste. But let's see what these other two powers we can get as we build it bigger and bigger. Okay, Leo, go ahead and build a five by five square here, okay? Okay, one, two... Now Leo's built a five by five platform or 25 blocks of iron. And now we're gonna go ahead and take our nine blocks of diamond, cause you can mix and match them if you want. All right, so now Leo's gonna go ahead and take the three by three diamond and build it inside the square here. One, two, there it goes. It's activated again because now it senses that we have two levels. So now the radius, the big circle, is 30 blocks instead of 20 blocks because we've opened up level 2 of our beacon. If we go into our beacon, you can see now that level 2 is open. We have resistance, 
which is a defense. Remember, we talked about that when we did our turtle video. And now we have jump boost. Let's see with jump boost. We can't really see resistance because we don't have anything, but we'll be able to jump higher. We'll be able to jump over fences. We'll be able to jump one and a half blocks. So if we put jump boost, we put our iron ingot inside, we get it started. You'll see in the right hand corner of my screen that the jump boost is there. And now we jump a lot higher and you can see it does the same effect. However, it's a longer and bigger radius, so we can jump further away from it. Now you have 12 seconds and it goes down to 9 and it does the reset because of the level 2. We can jump a lot higher if we come over here to this fence. I could jump over this fence and get into the wheat farm. I don't have to... Oh, oh I probably broke the wheat. <laughs> but I don't have to worry about opening the fence because I can jump over a fence now. Right here, you're going to see... That's going to wear off on me. And you can see it starting to wear off because we're over 30 blocks away from our beacon. And then it'll disappear. And once it disappears, I can run back in here. And once I run back in, the effect will come back on. Just like that. All right, so one of the things, the neat things you could do is if you could put this resistance on and say we had a raid happening like we had before, and we put this on, we wouldn't take as much damage from the raid. But let's go ahead and build a third level. So Leo's going to build a 7x7 seven seven square with our iron block to start our level 3 beacon. Thank you, Leo. Looks great. Got your 7x7 seven seven square built with our iron block. Now what we're going to go ahead and do is build this on top of there. Now you can see we have a 7x7 seven seven and a 5x5. Five five. So now we're going to go ahead and take our diamond part here and take our beacon and move that over. All right, go ahead and place the beacon on top. And you can see it activates again. And now we have three levels. And if we go inside, you can see all the left side over here is now available for us to choose. So if we want strength now, we could get strength and be more powerful. Yeah. Take an iron ingot. We could put it in there. We could select our strength and boom. You can see it's starting at 14 and goes all the way down to 11 and then it resets itself. The other cool thing is if we stand here, uh, we are now in a 40 block radius in a big circle around the whole area, protect it with strength. So we're much stronger. So you could use this when you go fight the wither. You'd be stronger with strength and you wouldn't have to use a strength potion. All right, Leo, let's build the last base. We have to do a nine by nine of this square and then put that whole three tier triangle on top of that nine by nine area. All right, Leo, great job. You got it all done. There's your nine by nine area. So now let's go ahead and put in our seven by seven area on top of that nine by nine area. We got our first level and our second level complete. Let's put the third level on Leo. We're going to need a five by five area. Yeah. All right, there's our three levels done. Now Leo's going to go ahead and take the diamond three by three and put it on top of the pyramid. And then once Leo puts the beacon on, you're going to see it activate. Nice. And now we have a full powered beacon. We have all four levels. The circle around us now is 50 blocks in all directions. And when we open it up, our secondary power is now unlocked as well. So we can put down haste. We now get haste two instead of haste one. You also get speed two instead of speed one. Resistance two instead of resistance one. A bigger jump boost. So you now even jump higher than before. And then, of course, Strength 2 instead of Strength 1. So let's play around and see how fast Speed 2 is. So we could use Speed 2 instead of using Regeneration. Now, if we wanted to use Regeneration, we could. Or you could just use Strength 1 and Regeneration. And you can see I selected both and go fight the Wither. And you wouldn't, you wouldn't be affected by any of the Wither. Because yeah. you have Regeneration on. So let's see what Speed 2 looks like. We'll go ahead and take an ingot and put that in there. Start that up. We get 16 seconds and it goes down to 13. It resets itself. And it's a 50 block radius. So now we can run really fast. And you can see we're getting around really fast. Yeah. See how fast we can go? And it's a 50 block. So it's going to go all the way out to the water before it even starts to, to stop working. So this is really cool because it works far away. Let's see if it works down here by our farm over here. Probably disappear once we get further enough away by the turtle farm. Because that's about 50 blocks away. Yes. And you can see over here by the turtle farm that it's going away. 
I'm gonna run out of speed here in a second and I'll run like a turtle haha and you can see it's wore off so if I run back you can see how slow I'm running now but if once I get close enough and that'll kick on you can see how fast I start running again and it's really neat let's try jump boost 2 see what that does again you take your jump boost you select it put your iron inger in and we're ready to go so you're going to see speed wear off, jump cut in. So now we got speed and jump. And we're jumping and running really fast for the moment until that timer runs out. And you can see how high we're jumping now, right? So now we jump two blocks high, which is really cool. So if we were to put down two blocks right here, you know, we could jump on top of that now. How cool is that, Leo? See that? You can jump off of two blocks now. It's really cool. So the last cool thing I want to show you is that you could put any type of colored glass on top of the beacon and it'll change the color of the light of the beacon. All right, Leo, go ahead and put the glass on there to show the effect, see what color it changes the beam. Oh, there it goes. And you can see now we have orange beam. There, now you got a black beam. It's kind of scary looking, huh? You can call Batman with that one. There's a cool... Was that Cyan? That's cool. Oh, red looks cool. Yeah, that's really cool. And you can build a mechanism around here with pistons that push the colored glass in and out. And it can do like a rainbow effect in the sky. They're always fun to build. Oh, yellow looks cool. Straight up in the sky like that. That's awesome. Nice one. That's magenta. Oh, there's the pink one. Whoa, look at the green. That's pretty cool. So one of the reasons we're going to take this down to the bottom of the world is because the beam, the effect of the beacon does not work underneath the beacon. So everything underneath the pyramid that we built, the effect will not work. So we have to, it's more of a cone shape effect that goes to the top of the world. So the idea is to go as low as you can go to get the beacon to give you the most benefit of your area. And our area is like right around here and we have a mining shaft that goes right in the middle of our area. So putting a beacon down there where we could change and just leave speed on We'll run around our, our base very, very fast because we'll have a beacon effect throughout the entire base of 50 blocks. All right, let's go set up our beacon. All right, so we're down in our basement. We're going to go ahead and build our beacon right here. So you see the beacon is now built down here in our mining area. But it doesn't activate because it needs to see the top of the sky. So we have to dig a hole all the way down from the top to here. So let me go work on that and get that started. I'll be back, bud. Okay, we're getting to the spot here. And there it goes, it's activated. And now I'm gonna go ahead and just fill this back in. Let's activate haste. And now we've got haste 2 activated. And now we can start mining down here, bud. So we're gonna pick a hallway here. Let's pick this hallway here. Wow, look at instant mine. Woohoo! <laughs> so cool. Okay, we come down here. Look how fast that is. Woo! There, now it's working. All right. You're in? All right, let's start mining. See how fast this works now? Oh my goodness. Oh, I found some redstone.
I'm just gonna keep going until I, I'll get it all at the end. You found diamond? Yeah. Use your fortune. Nice, buddy, nice. See how cool this is? How easy it is to mine now? This is fun. Three? Three? Nice. Now see, once you get far enough away, your power wears off. So we're over 50 bucks away. So I'm going to turn around and come back. And my power turns back on. And I'm going to go down a different chute. <laughs> diamonds, you want it? Yeah. Finally found some diamonds around here. Yay! Leo, you can have the diamonds. Okay, I, I need, I need like more, 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 and I need a stack. A stack? Yeah. Oh, there's two. There's two? Come on over here. Oh my, I have fortune. They're for you. Yeah. I have fortune too, but you can have them. Tell me when you're ready. There he goes, getting all his diamonds. Wow, that's a big one. How many? You got 13? Yep. Wow, that's great. 13 diamonds? Alright, well, let's say we go up top. Look at this huge area we dug out. We dug this out in a little bit of time. Leo wants to find more diamonds, so we're going to let you find more diamonds. And then we're going to head up top. We're okay, so that little bit of time we spent mining this little section out right here, we ended up getting over three and a half stacks of redstone, 16 diamonds, 25 pieces of gold, 50 lapis, and three copper from the dig down. So it was pretty cool. And then we ended up getting almost two choker boxes full of deep slate and stones and gravel. Let's turn this into speed, speed two. And that way when we get up to the surface, we'll be able to run fast all the time. We could run around our area very fast now. And then we could also, when we run out of the, that, we could just take off. And we're moving around fast our land now. And then if we want to mine, we just change it over to haste. And then if somebody wants to fight us here, we will fight. And pretty much our entire base is covered by this speed to run. And we can turn it over to whatever we want. We want to fight, turn it over to strength. We just go down there and change it. Leo won the diamond race. Let's say goodbye to everybody, bud. All right, that looks like it wraps up this video. I hope everybody had a great day. I hope everybody learned how to activate and use a beacon and all the different benefits you can have from using a beacon. Go ahead and hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!